Hi there. My name is Jerry O'Grady. I'm the Applications Engineering Manager here in DecoWave. And today, I'd like to show you our location technology in action. In DecoWave, we've developed a revolutionary new wireless technology based on ultra-wideband and compliant with an IEEE standard, 802.15.4a. Our ultra-wideband technology can locate things to an accuracy of plus or minus 10 centimetres. You'd think that locating something would be easy, but in fact, it's quite difficult. I guess we're all familiar with GPS systems. Anybody with a sat-nav in their car would be familiar with that. But GPS doesn't work indoors. And there are a variety of indoor location systems that are generally referred to as real-time location systems in use today. The problem with all of these systems is that they are either too inaccurate, too expensive, or both. And here in DecaWave, we've developed this revolutionary ultra-wideband radio chip that is both cost-effective and accurate. Ultra-wideband is a technology based on a series of very narrow pulses. And that's important when you think that a radio signal between a transmitter and receiver will travel over many different paths. There's a direct path between the transmitter and the receiver, but there are also many reflections from walls and ceilings and floors and other objects in the room. And because the signal is ultra-wideband, it means we can distinguish between these individual signals as they arrive at the receiver. And that's vitally important for us to be able to determine the first signal, because that's the one we need to find to measure the, the distance accurately. So let's look at the first part of our demonstration today. This is where we show two of our chips exchanging messages and calculating the distance between themselves. This is a system based on what's known as two-way ranging. The idea is to work out the time it takes for the signal to travel from the antenna of one board to the antenna of the other board. And once we know that time accurately, we can then calculate the distance because we know the speed of light in air. So, looking at the various components of the system, at each end of the link we have a board with our chip on it, we have a power supply, we have a PC that's running some software which we call decorating and we have an antenna. What happens is that one computer generates a message, transmits it using our chip to the other computer, and the time at which that message is transmitted and the time at which it is received is recorded. The computers exchange messages and from that they can calculate the time of flight of the signal from one antenna to the other. And once they have that time and knowing the speed of light in air, they can calculate the distance between the two antennas. Each computer displays various different results on its screen. At the top of the screen, you can see a collection of numbers. The first is the instantaneous distance measurement from the last exchange of messages. The next number is the average over the last eight exchanges. And the third is the average since this program was started. You'll also see a collection of red, green and blue lines. This is what's called the impulse response of the channel. The 802.15.4a standard has some very important properties in that it lets us see the impulse response of the channel for every message that's received. And that has two important benefits. One is it lets us find the direct path between the transmitter and the receiver that we spoke about earlier. And the second is that it lets us see all the energy in the received signal. And we use what's called a coherent receiver technique to extract all that energy and that's what gives us our very good line-of-sight and non-line-of-sight range. Now that we've seen two of our chips communicating together and measuring the distance between themselves, let's look at that concept extended to a full location system. So let's look at the individual parts of the system. First of all, we have the thing that you want to track. In this case, it's this tag here. Um, this tag has one of our chips in it and transmits messages on a periodic basis. Next we have what are normally referred to as anchors or readers. These are mounted around the area in which the tag is located and they receive the transmissions from the tag. They timestamp those messages accurately and send that information back over Ethernet to what's called a location engine. Now you can imagine these readers either as standalone units or incorporated into wireless access points, for example. And then we have the location engine. This is a piece of software that runs on a server. It takes in the time-stamped messages from all of the anchors 
and calculates where the position of the tag is relative to those anchors and displays that position on a floor plan of the office that you see here on the screen. This system works a little differently to the demonstration you just saw. In that demonstration, two boards exchanged messages and calculated the distance between themselves. In this system, the tag just broadcasts a message and that's picked up by as many anchors as are in range. Now, because radio waves travel at a constant speed, some anchors will pick up the transmission from the tag before others. As long as the time base in all of the anchors is synchronized, then you can use the difference in the arrival time at each of the anchors to work out where the tag is. Consequently, this system is called time difference of arrival. But the important thing is to synchronize time in the anchors. That's quite difficult to do. And here in DecaWave, we've developed a wireless scheme to do that so you don't have to run extra cables to synchronize the time. So as my colleague walks around the room with the tag, you can see that the tag position on the floor pan of the office on the screen moves to follow him. You can see that as he goes into this office, you can see his position moves on the screen to follow. So that's it. We've shown you our ultra wideband technology doing ranging between two boards. We've shown you the technology doing full real-time location systems. If you're interested in what you've seen, if you'd like any more information, please don't hesitate to contact me, Jerry O'Grady at DecaWave. That's jerry.ogrady at decawave.com or any of my other colleagues at sales at decawave.com and we'll be more than happy to talk to you. Thanks very much for your time.